Afternoon. Uh, this video documentation is in regards to the 997.1 uh, LED uh, fog lights. Uh, I understand that uh, you might be having concerns with uh, the signal lights not working. So just want to take the time and uh, clearly kind of demonstrate the bench testing process for these LED DROs, kind of showing you what we do prior to checking them out. So actually, I uh, pulled out a brand new set from the aisles. Uh, the parts number would be the following. And we have two versions of these, uh, the, the regular and the sequentials, but the testing process is exactly the same. It's just a relay inside functioning difference depending on the version that you purchased. So right now I have the non-sequentials. Uh, go ahead and run the, the functionality testings. So um, I understand that uh, these connections are pretty straightforward to test, that you have no issues testing, but just for the sake of it, just make sure to wire um, either if you have the test lace or even alligator clamps to make sure you got the, the positive versus the negative uh, polarity aligned correctly. Now I understand it may be concerning towards uh, the signal connection, being the case that this mimics a halogen bulb, then it might be looking weird on uh, regarding to the bench testing it. So I am confirming with you that the outer shell is positive. The nipple is actually negative. So as long as you um, have those two points correctly done, you should be able to po manually power them up with no issues. This also can be kind of seen on your uh, stock uh, socket that how everything, the grounding uh, casing and also, I'm sorry, uh, the grounding um, tab on the bottom and the, the whole positive casing, how it works. So again, one more time, I got a negative positive test lead. I'll run the pattern testing right now. I have a 12 volt power supply unit that I'll be testing with. So one more time, the whole outer casing is positive. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the negative to the nipple. And you can see it already flashed on. So you can see, as long as I have the contact firmly on, it stays on with no issues. So conversely, I'll go ahead and test the other side, making sure that everything is all in order regarding the signal function. So same thing, the opposite side. So I'll use my signal contacts. And then the negative is going to be the nipple, now casing is going to be positive. So I'll go ahead and do that one more time. So a positive out casing and nipple right there. I'll touch it with negative. And again, it comes on with no issues. So again, this is actually the process we do to uh, bench test each LED functions. We test the fog lights, we test the parking lights, and we test the signal lights. Um, if you can bear with us on your end to kind of demonstrate if you do have a power supply or even a 12 volt battery with some thin gauge wires that you could lead to and just kind of brush against the contact and making sure you have a firm contact with, um, we're just wondering if you can provide your results on your end, being the case that um, if it needs to be, uh, we may need to have the, the item returned back to test once again on our facility. Um, ultimately, what it boils down is if we are able to bench test it without any issues, it might be the case, two cases, with uh, uh, what's happening on your end. Either it's going to be a contact point issue, which is something very simple that you just might need to bend certain contact place to have better contact with, or uh, it might be resulting uh, from the vehicle not sending the proper power to the signal function. Uh, maybe they're detecting something else. Maybe air, uh, uh, they're detecting the LED components. All of this should have been calibrated by the manufacturer because we've been selling uh, quite a few of these uh, with no issues. So um, we haven't run into any error message report, but if that's the case, the vehicle should still let the LED signal lights turn on, but just simply present an error message. However, in your case, you're mentioning that the signal lights never work. So we would like to make sure that the, the chipset that powers the, the LED signal lights are okay and the contact points are okay, meaning that the soldering points, nothing's torn, pulled towards the inside or on this end as well. So these are a few things that we would love for you to double check and if you can help us bench test this manually, um, making sure that you got this nipple as a grounding negative and the whole outer casing as positive. Uh, we're just kind of wondering if you can help us follow up with that so that we can kind of update our vendor as to what's going on. Thank you so much for your time.